feel the shame. Amen. You already know that you are accepted by God. He said, say, well, sister, he got you, right? You know God got you, huh? Yes. Amen. So therefore, you feel accepted, you never feel ashamed. Yes. Do you not know some people come to church, some people accept God, and they don't know that God has accepted them, and they are still walking around with the shame on them? Amen. I'm ashamed to serve God because of my sin or my past sin. I'm ashamed to go to God's house because of things I've done wrong. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Listen, God loves high enough. He knows that when you make a mistake, God knows how to cover you. Come on, somebody. Amen. God loves what? His love is so deep. What happened? His love is so deep. What? Come on, somebody. He can do what? God's love is so deep for you. God loves you so much and it's so deep. Amen. Praise God. He can handle anything. Yes, again. Amen. And some people in the church, they will make you feel like you got to start all over again. Oh, come on, somebody. Hey, Amen. If you've been around for a while, Prophet Jones, y'all been around for a while in the church. Some churches, praise God, you make a mistake, praise God, they'll make you almost start all over again. Yes, man. Make you sit down for six months, mm -hmm. a year, while they judge whether or not you're right or not. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. But God's love for you, bread God, that when you sincerely repent, God forgives you that very moment. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. God has restored you that very moment. Come on, somebody. But men are still still make you feel ashamed. Why? They'll put you somewhere and everybody in the church know you are silent. Yes. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. They'll put you in a place where everybody knows that you are now in sin and that they okay. Oh, come on, somebody. But God said, my love for you is so deep. It's so wide. It is so hot. Come on, somebody. Amen. You can come in God's house and you cannot be ashamed because God has forgiven you. Amen. His love is still towards you. Come on, somebody. All you got to do is repent. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And some of you need to know that, praise God, because some come in this church. Come on, somebody. You want to do stuff in the church, but somehow your life is not being according to what you think others ought to be. And now you come in here, but you are ashamed to do anything. Come on, somebody, because you don't feel accepted. Amen. And we who are in church, we have made you feel that way. Amen. And so we are so busy looking at the people, we don't see God. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we said in God's house, ashamed, ashamed to lift our hands, ashamed to praise Him, ashamed that somebody's gonna say, I know what you were doing last night, I saw you, uh huh. And you're ashamed that fuck, you look at people, they couldn't act them out. I wonder what I'm done, I wonder what they don't see, I wonder what they know. <laughs> and they are sitting on there, praise God, just proud, just to cross the spot, me, thinking they are so holy, and they and they, they are all that right. And you give them praise God, they're going like, oh, sit down. Right? <laughs> right? The devil is a liar. Yeah. I know that God loved me. His love is so wild. What happened? Oh, y'all ain't getting it. Y'all ain't following me. His love is so wild. What happened? It's everywhere. His love is so deep. It's what? It's so high. It's what? It can overlook what any mistake. Y'all keep your paper ready. Now I told y'all I'm going to come back to you. You better pay attention. Come on, somebody. You got to get this. If you don't get this, praise God, I'm telling you, sooner or later, amen, you're going to mess up or slip, and you're going to come into church, and you are so afraid that somebody saw you that, that you don't, that you ain't going to want to praise him, you ain't going to want to dance, you ain't going to want to preach, you ain't going to want to pray, you ain't going to want to read the scripture. Oh, come on, somebody. Now you don't repeat it as God's forgiven you, and now you set that condemned. And the devil going, yeah, I got you. That's right. Oh. Amen. If you don't want to tell how, how, much, how deep God's love is, I'm telling you, when you leave here today, amen, the opportunity is going to come up, it's going to rise up in your life for you to understand how much God loves you. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. There have been folk in this church, you have not done things because you think people are saying something about you. Yeah. Amen. You are walking in the shame. You are 
are ashamed to go, you don't realize how much God loves you. Amen. You worry about what the people are going to say, how they feel towards you. So I say amen in here. And God told me to come tell you, church, amen. It's not what, what people feel or what they think or how you feel they feel. Come on, somebody. Once you know that you are accepted, you will never be ashamed again. Yeah. 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 Come on, say amen in here. Yeah. Amen. Because as you pray, God, if you don't know that God loves you, people will wear, people will tear you up. Yeah. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Come on, somebody. When you get up and do something, you see the faces turn around. Mm. Mm. And you start thinking, why are they not receiving me? It ain't about them. Amen. Their problem is they don't understand how much God loved them. Yeah. It's not your problem. You know that God loved you, forgive you. So it's not, see, see, what we understand, it's not about it's not, it's not how they what they think or what they feel is what God sees in yeah. you. Turn your head if you want to. Turn your nose up if you want to. Come on, somebody. Look cross out if you want to. I know God loves me. Amen. Amen. So you can react any way you want to react. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise God. I'm beyond you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's not my fault you want to act like the world. Come on, somebody. That's on you. I, God for God loved me. Remember now. Before what? Before the world was formed. So what you got? Come on, somebody. Cross your eyes if you want to. Turn your little head if you want to. Sneer if you want to. Laugh and make faces and talk about it if you want to. Touching each other. Uh, 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 do what you want to do. It don't matter. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Am I preaching anybody here this morning? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Because see, see, church folk will do something to you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. All right, let's move on here. By faith, Romans 5 1 says, By faith we have been made acceptable to God. By faith we have been made what? Acceptable to God. And now, because of our Lord Jesus Christ, we live at peace with who? God. When I'm at peace with God, come on, somebody. I don't need your peace. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I don't need your peace. Some up in the church will make you think you need them. No, I don't need you. I need to understand I am acceptable to God. Come on, somebody. Amen. We live at peace. I'm at peace with God. I don't need your peace. Amen. Your peace can be here or there. Yeah, so, 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 so you won't get it no way. So why am I worried about it? Someone say amen. Why am I worried about it? Is this happening to anybody? Amen. This is going to help somebody. Listen, once you come to grip of this, praise God, amen, you can stand for anybody and look at them. You know what they're doing, what they're saying. I know a time, praise God, when I was with a group of pastors, and I know, praise God, that they were on purpose getting their little cars and ride off and leave me. And I know that when they went off, they were making jokes and laughing at me. Come on, somebody. But you know what? I was at peace with God. When they came back from the little luncheon and walked by me, hey, 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 I was to go pray the Lord. How y'all doing? You know why? I was at peace with God. I knew God loved me. I knew God had called me. I knew God had blessed me. Come on, somebody. I knew God was going to use me. So praise God, I didn't need them to be blessed. I think we're not my blessers. You know when somebody, that man, pray God, is mocking you and making fun of you. You know when somebody really don't love you and they're trying to get along with you. Come on, somebody. That's all right. I know God loved me and he's going to accept me as I am. Come on, somebody. And I'm at peace with God. Somebody clap your hands. How do you know, Bishop? I've been there. I've been around men of God with titles. Come on, somebody. Who looked at me to pray God and they laughed. Me make fun. I was a blunt of a joke. Matter of fact, one preacher came back and told me while we were all at lunch, we were let they were laughing at you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone saying that. Amen. Don't think I ain't been there. I know. Amen. At one time, it used to hurt me to my heart and it made me cry that they felt the people I love who I thought they were with me. They were my brother, praise God. But I would, I, but at all the same time, I was the brunt of their, 